So today we will discuss about how we can send the logs to any third party tool. Okay, any third party tool, for example, Grafana. Today we will discuss about the Grafana, how we can send the CloudWatch logs to the Grafana. So let me log into my AWS account for real quick. Okay. And hopefully, yeah, I, I expect that bad user request. Okay, let me re refresh this page and try to log in one more time. You see that the bad request went away. I didn't do anything. All I did just to refresh that page. Can someone tell me what, what this is exactly? I cannot say. Okay, yeah, this is better. Two and uh, I hope you guys don't have a password scanner so you cannot see my password. Okay, so for example, let's say I have a I have a CloudWatch matrix, right? For example, I have a CloudWatch matrix that I wanted to send to a third party tool, for example, Grafana, okay? And I wanna know how it works actually. I didn't get a chance to do it earlier, but now I have an opportunity to do it, right? And these are the metrics that I wanted to send to the third party tool, in our case, Grafana, okay? And what, what metrics do you have here is, you see that you will have a EBS matrix. You will have a EC2 matrix and you will have an event-based, NAT gateways matrix, S3, usage matrix. You can have a DynamoDB matrix and you can have a, a RDS matrix. Or you can have any service matrix here. This is the CloudWatch is a monitoring tool, right? It, this will monitor your application. Let's say I want to send this instance matrix to a third party tool. For example, Grafana, and and in order to get this CloudWatch access, what we need to configure inside Grafana, we need to provide the credentials, right? And we need to provide the access key, secret key with the CloudWatch read read access. It doesn't have to write because we are just sending the logs. We are not creating any logs or any matrix here. We are just sending the existing logs to the third party tool. So the third party tool need only readable access. Okay. And uh, I didn't know like how exactly uh, that works actually. Steps to send CloudWatch matrix to Grafana. Okay. And I will I will I will go to the Grafana documentation. Compared to the like, compared to this kind of uh, uh, what we say, marketing websites, the first thing I will do I will check with the 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 product documentation first, product documentation only. So this marketing website like this marketing websites right, they are useful to troubleshooting purpose. Let's say you have some error and uh, you need to you need to solve that error and you haven't seen that error before. And what you could do, this kind of third party marketing uh, website will have that kind of error and uh, answer, for example, stack overflow. But in order to implementation, right, the step-by-step -step implementation, the first thing I will do, go to this CloudWatch. For example, let's say I was asked to uh, implement DynamoDB inside AWS, right? And I don't know how to do it. I didn't do it earlier, for example. What I will do, I will go to the DynamoDB documentation from AWS and I'll follow the same steps. That's what we did for EKS, Docker, ECR. And uh, that's what we did for EC2, lot of AWS services that we provisioned based on their documentation only. So here, the first thing I wanna go, I wanna look the CloudWatch the cloud, not CloudWatch, Grafana documentation for the CloudWatch, okay? So what this guy is saying is you need to have IAM policy. 
the specific IAM policy in the data source configuration. What is the data source here? What is the source? Source of your metrics? CloudWatch is the source. Okay. And uh, if you choose CloudWatch is the source, like the way you are seeing here, right? What you are seeing here? You are seeing the source like uh, EC2, EBS, blah, blah, blah. Those are the source for this CloudWatch. And the same way you can have uh, source as a CloudWatch, RDS, or DynamoDB, whatever. A lot of, a lot of source, like source is nothing but where the data is coming from. That is the source, okay? And you are saying your data, your matrix are coming from CloudWatch. So obviously you should have access to the CloudWatch. You see that? So action, allow. What you should allow? Describe alarm history, describe matrix, blah, blah, blah. And I've got this complete, the, the complete permission from their documentation. I, I'm not gonna make any changes. All I'm gonna do just to create a policy, that's it. Okay? And uh, I will attach this policy to IAM user and I can configure that IAM user credentials in the Grafana. So automatically Grafana will get access to this CloudWatch, right? And yeah, that is good. I'm gonna do like, you know, if you need metrics and logs, you should use this policy. And you should use, if, if you need only logs only, you should use this policy. And if you need metrics only, you should use this policy. So I have that from their documentation. So I'm gonna use the same thing based on my requirement. Let's say if I need, Matrix and logs, right? I'm going to use this policy. If I need only logs, I'm going to use this policy. And if I need only matrix, I'm going to use this policy to create an IAM user. And I'm going to use that access key secret key inside the third party tool. So that the third party tool will get access based on that uh, permissions, IAM permissions, nothing but based on this policy. Am I clear? Now I have authentication ready. Now I need to create a dashboard actually. So there, is, there are two ways that you can create a dashboard. The one way is you can do using graphical interface, like go to that third party tool, add a plus, and you will see the icons like a dashboard icon or matrix icon, or you will see data source icon, you will see configuration icon, you will see settings icon, the same way. Same way you see the GitHub, right? What you will see, create a repo and SSH keys, blah, blah, blah. Right? The same way you will see dashboard, you will see settings, all those things in the Grafana. And click on the dashboard and add a plus, click on that plus and choose your dashboard name and you choose the source as a CloudWatch and you will see what are the instances that sending the source to the CloudWatch, you will see all those details because you have access through IAM. And you can select that instance and create a dashboard. Give the dashboard name and create a dashboard. That's it. You're done. You're done. Pretty straightforward, right? And I want to save that configuration. For example, I want to save that configuration, right? So what I will do? So next time I can use the same configuration to create a dashboard. What I will do? I'll do. I'll go to Grafana Labs. Uh, let me go to Grafana Labs. Where is this? Okay. Is this free account? Is this Grafana only? Okay. Well, that is good. If it is free, we can we can create an access, blah, 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 but I don't think it's free, but that's okay. So go to Grafana Labs to create a dashboard. To create dashboards, right? Okay, right here, I'm going to this page and try to Try to find that. JSON file to send 
powered watch. EC2 matrix matrix to create a dashboard, something like that in Grafana. Oh, right here. Export import Grafana Labs. Okay, and this is good. Let's try to open that one. Okay, this guy is saying, so these are the step-by-step -step procedures actually. So this guy is saying right here, Grafana dashboard, go here. Okay, so these are all the, so it's actually, you can have a dashboard for Nginx service, quick start dashboard, AWS building service, Nginx ingress controller. You will have uh, all the services, all the services. These are the sources, Kubernetes service, you can have that one. RDS, you can have a load balancer one. This is what we are looking for. Not ECS actually, EC2. We are looking for EC2. <clears throat> because we are gonna send EC2 logs, for example. So what we need to do, just go there. You, if you, if you need to export your Kubernetes cluster logs, all you need to do is just you know go to here and you will see the whole JSON file like this. You will see the whole JSON file. Okay. If I open this JSON file, show in Finder. Open with Visual Studio Code Editor. I'll open with the Visual Studio Code Editor. What's happening? Yeah, right here. You see that this is a complete JSON file that, that I have already. All I had to do, just, you know, copy this JSON file and import data from this JSON file. Just, you know, I'll use control A, control C, go to Grafana, right? And I have a steps like I import and export. How can we do that? Something like this. One more step behind. One step behind. Yeah, right here, import and export, right? And this guy will say how to import and export, something like that. Import a dashboard. Okay, grafana.com. So, all I can do, just import the JSON file. You see that upload JSON file? Click on that upload JSON file and it will prompt for that, you know, the it will look for the file from your computer and upload whatever the file that you downloaded. You just give the name and, uh, and that's it. And when you see, you will see the dashboards like this, dashboard A, B, C, blah, blah, blah. And same thing. And that's it. This is the monitoring that that we are using, for example. Any questions?